In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your new slotted SCP-3 wireless controller to work with your Skelectric Digital Arc Pro or Skelectric Digital Arc Air power base system. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the straight Arc Pro functionality. So I'm going to plug this power supply in as the standard Skelectric power supply, standard Skelectric Arc Pro base, no modifications, straight out of the box, just the sticker there. And I believe this one is paired to green, number two. I'm going to turn it on. And number two lights up, controller lights up. Car does not go, we'll program the car to two. And now the car goes. So standard Skelectric digital car. Uh, also straight out of the box, no modifications of any kind. I never even opened this up to take the magnet out. So that's your standard Skelectric Arc Pro system. I'm going to turn this controller off because we're not using that anymore. And this is the slotted SCP-3 wireless controller. I went to my local RC hobby store and got a 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery that fit into the handle and had the right connector. And that's all I had to do, just plug it in and put the cover back on. Uh, the handle should come with uh, oxygen firmware. Might not be the same version because I've upgraded to the latest version, but when you turn it on, it'll show you what firmware is in the handle. So this is O2 handle 3.12B PA on. PA refers to the power amplification module that I have in here. It's a separate item that you can install, but the controller works just fine without it. The uh, oxygen firmware does not communicate with an ARC Pro base. I'll show you. I'll, I'll act like I'm going to program for number one here. I'm going to hold the button to the lights flash. With the controller off, I hold the trigger and turn it on. And it doesn't do anything different. Not until we put in the correct firmware. So I'll turn the controller back off. In order to put the right firmware on, we need the slotted app on our device. That can be an Android tablet, there's an uh, Apple version as well. Uh, then I run the app. Now I've already registered an account with the slotted app, and I've already registered my hardware. When you run the app, it shows you what hardware you registered. So I have some SCP-3 handles and a uh, Type-C uh, oxygen chip. I haven't gone through all my devices yet, still, still doing the basics here. Uh, this is SCP-3 handle uh, MRF number one. I remember from the name that I gave to it. And so we choose the hardware we want to talk to, right? So that's the hardware I want to talk to. And then I tap Info. Now if we were adding new hardware, we'd tap Add and pair new hardware. Or I can remove something if I wanted to not use that anymore. Or let somebody else have it. Uh, or log out. But for this, we're going to tap Info. And it brings up the info screen for the device. This is the information that it is aware of the last time it talked to the device. So now we're going to connect to the device. Notice that change and DFU are grayed out because we're not connected to it yet. And I can go back to the devices screen by tapping devices. But I want to do the DFU to put in the new firmware. So I'm going to tap connect. And it says please make sure the device is in app or BT mode. I'm not going to tap OK yet because we want to make sure the device is in app mode. To do that, you hold both triangle buttons and then turn on the power switch. So I'm going to hold them both with my thumb and then I'm going to flip the switch with my finger. And now it shows AP for app mode. We're almost there. One more step. We need to tell the handle which device we're connecting. So there's the handle and then there's the power amplification module. To connect the handle, we push down, and it shows handle in the readout. To connect the PAM, we push up, and it shows PA chip. And we can go back and forth until, we've, until we're sure which one we want to connect. So in this case, I'm going to push down. And once we have the selection we want, we confirm by pressing the round break button. Now you see the readout shows HN for handle, because that's what I'm going to pair with the app, or communicate, connect to the app. And so now I tap OK. And it does a little swirly talking, communicating thing. And when it's done, then we'll see now we can tap change or DFU down at the bottom. 
and connect is grayed out because we're already connected. If I tap change, that'll let me change the name of the device. I don't want to change the name from what it is now, so I'm going to tap no. And since I want to put firmware in, I want to tap DFU. That stands for Direct Firmware Upload. So I'll tap DFU, and now it shows us all of the firmware options we have. Uh, this will basically show you a list of all the compatible firmware uh, that's currently released for that particular device. So I'm going to look for the one that says ARC in the name. So here it is down at the bottom. SCP-3, HN for handle, ARC for ARC Pro, or ARC Air, and then the version, 0311A, and then the date that that firmware was released. So I tap that to select it, and then I tap Confirm down at the bottom to confirm that's the firmware I want to install. And then one more time, we want to confirm that we're going to upgrade the firmware or change the firmware in the handle with what was chosen. So now I tap Yes. And the first thing it does is put the handle into DFU mode. You can kind of see down at the bottom, Activate DFU mode, Handle display goes wonky, it's in DFU mode. Now it's starting the DFU process, send init packet, and it's gonna kind of spend a few seconds and then it's gonna buzz through the last little bits. And we can see the communication thing there in the middle of the screen. There we go, send firmware, validate firmware, activate and reset. So now it says DFU completed, the handle is already rebooting, so we tap OK, because we're done with that. And now I'm gonna turn off the handle and now we can pair it with the ARC Pro base. So I'm going to pair it to number six by holding down the button until the lights flash. Lights flash, now it's ready to go. So just like with the ARC handle, I'm going to hold down the trigger and turn on the power and the light flashed over there and now they're talking. That light is on, that light is on, this light indicates that they're connected and talking. And now this car is on number two, remember, so it's not going to go. So I'm going to pair it with six, press, press, and now it goes. So I'm controlling this Skelectric, standard Skelectric digital car on my ARC Pro base with my slotted SCP-3 wireless controller. And now I have the benefit of all these wonderful throttle curve manipulation features. Uh, low speed, minimum speed, you know. <laughs> uh, power trim or anti-spin, various other things, lane change buttons, brake button, and now I can use that instead of my uh, Skelectric controller. If you have any questions about this process or any other process related to SCP-3 or Slotit products, feel free to post and I'll help in any way that I can. Thanks for watching.